My name is Altaf Sheshinwala, and as President and CEO of McKenzie Health, and on behalf of the more than 2,500 staff, 450 physicians, and over 1,000 community volunteers, I extend a warm welcome to our government funding partners and elected representatives, members of our McKenzie Health Board of Directors, Foundation Volunteer Association Boards, and the McKenzie Vaughan Hospital Campaign Cabinet, our community health partners and hospital colleagues across the GTA, our McKenzie Health staff, physicians, and volunteers who have joined us here today. In 2009, McKenzie Health received a $7 million grant to plan the new Vaughan Hospital. Since that time, our team has worked tirelessly to keep this project on time and on budget. Over the past six years, we've marked a number of important project milestones. In 2011, we celebrated the approval of the McKenzie Vaughan Hospital project with an announcement by then Minister of Health, the Honorable Deb Matthews. In 2013, McKenzie Health received a $49 million planning grant to design the new hospital. In July of 2014, McKenzie Health and the City of Vaughan celebrated the start of early work to prepare the hospital land for the future development. In September of 2014, McKenzie Health and Infrastructure Ontario announced its three RFQ shortlisted teams that are now pre-qualified to respond to an RFP. And on, thank you. <laughs> That's gonna happen every two minutes, just so you know. And on April 20th of this year, McKenzie Health and the City of Vaughan signed a 99-year ground lease to secure 40 acres for the immediate hospital build, as well as 10 acres for, for the future expansion of the hospital. Over 400 staff, physicians, and volunteers have participated in the planning of McKenzie Vaughan and the preparation of over 2,600 pages of project specifications necessary for the RFP. McKenzie Health has also engaged over 4,000 people from our community in the planning of the new hospital focus groups, open community consultations, and most recently, through our hospital information sessions with our respective counselors in both Richmond Hill and Vaughan. Throughout our journey, we focused on our vision to create a world-class health experience for the people of Vaughan and all of Southwest York Region. Today, we are excited to share yet another major milestone toward the opening of the new Mackenzie Vaughan Hospital and the realization of a dream of greater access to hospital care for the people of Vaughan and surrounding communities. It is now my pleasure to introduce a longtime supporter of the Mackenzie Vaughan Hospital and a key representative for Vaughan as part of the provincial cabinet. Please help me welcome the Minister of Transportation and Vaughan MPP, the Honorable Stephen Del Duca. Well, thank you very much, Altaf, for, these, uh, for those opening remarks and for the kind introduction. And I, and I want to begin by thanking Altoff and the entire team, the board and the senior executive team and all of the staff at McKenzie Health for their extraordinary work over, uh, over the last number of years to help us get to this really important point today and of course going forward. So Altoff, thanks very much to you and your team for all the great work that you've done. Thank you very much. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you there's a, a lot of emotions that are uh, kind of running through, uh, running through me over the course of this morning as I thought about uh, coming here to this announcement, uh, and you know, I don't. Uh, I think it's actually quite quite appropriate, frankly, that we're that we're here in the parking lot, uh, adjacent to the hospital lands, of course, but also adjacent to uh, Canada's Wonderland, because uh, I think as I look at Greg and I look at Eric and I look at Maurizio and others, this, I think we can all admit that this certainly has been a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last couple of years. But that's okay. That's that's what makes <laughs> that's what makes. I'm waiting for the cheers. All tough. You're supposed to cue the cheers from over there. But you know, it really is, it really is an exceptional time. And it's, uh, it's interesting as well, because last July, last July the 7th specifically, uh, many of us, most of us were gathered across the street for uh, the official start of the early infrastructure work. I know it was July the 7th, of course, because that happens to be my own personal birthday. Uh, and here we are, almost exactly uh, a year later, uh, to, uh, to have a very important announcement made by my colleague and friend, Minister of Health, Eric Hoskins, uh, and uh, I don't want to put any extra pressure on anyone else, whether it's the hospital or the ministry or I.O. or anyone else, but, you know, next year my birthday present could be something even cooler, I think. Um, but I really am excited. I'm really, really thrilled to have the, the privilege of serving as the MPP for this community. I know that so many people have worked so hard on this over a, a very long stretch of time, and we wouldn't be here today, all of us wouldn't be here today, if we uh, didn't have such an exceptional team across all uh, all areas, all sectors working on this. I look at the mayor, of course, and I think of 
the work that he uh, has put into this, the dedication that he and members of council and senior city staff, both current and former councils and current and former city staff have put into this over the last number of years uh, to get us where we are. Of course, I look at my predecessor and friend, Greg Sorbera, and I think of all of those conversations that we had during that time when I did work for him just about a decade ago and all of those periods since. I know Greg has a very important responsibility that he's gonna talk about in just a few minutes with respect to some of the extraordinarily heavy lifting that we still have ahead of us, but I know we wouldn't be here today without his dedication and work. Uh, of course, I wanna say through the minister to the entire Ministry of Health since the very beginning, uh, having worked so hard on this project and having the chance to, to meet from your deputy to the ADMs to others working in the capital branch to your own minister's office staff to Jacob and others, uh, and to yourself for always being open uh, and listening to me as I harassed you in the lobby outside of the chamber and said, we gotta get this done. And I gotta, gotta tell all of you before he gets up here, because my job is to officially introduce him in just a second, uh, Minister Hoskins has always been someone who's, uh, who's believed in this project and has brought his, uh, his uh, energy and excitement to making sure that we get it done. I see our colleague Reza Maridi, who serves as my neighbor, uh, the MPP for Richmond Hill, but also the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities and the Minister of Research and Innovation. And sometimes those of us in Vaughan, and I say this as a 27-year resident of this beautiful community, we get very focused on understanding the importance of this for Vaughan itself, but we do have to remember that this is going to be a state-of-the-art hospital that will serve all of Southwest York Region, which will include those people who live in Richmond Hill and beyond. And throughout this entire undertaking, since before I was an MPP, Reza and our colleague Helena Jasik, and even our newest colleague from York Region, Chris Ballard, who represents Newmarket Aurora, we have all been united in our determination to make this a reality. So to Reza, I want to say thank you as well. And I know there are people here uh, from Infrastructure Ontario, Angelo and others who have certainly worked long and hard throughout this entire process to make sure that we uh, that we're in a position to go forward with another important milestone. So really and truly today for me is all about gratitude. Gratitude to all of those I've mentioned. Gratitude for those who, at the very earliest stages of this undertaking, I think back to Greg's by-election in 2001 and into the two or three years after that as the city took on the responsibility and created a foundation and created a campus of care to move forward with this vision. I think of the earliest advocates, people who put themselves forward as volunteers to raise money and raise awareness and be champions for our community. When I think of those earliest, uh, those earliest adopters all the way through to this present day, uh, really, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very strong and profound sense of gratitude that I have uh, for everybody uh, who has worked so hard to get us to this crucial point. The work is not done. The work is not done. We, we, you know, we do have very good news, and I'm working really hard not to scoop Eric before he gets up here to the podium itself, but we have great news today. Uh, but I know that the work will continue. Here's what I also know about Vaughn itself and all of Southwest York Region, but particularly, I'm gonna be a bit of a homer here, Reza, don't get mad at me, but Vaughn itself. What I know as someone who's lived here for a long time and someone who's been very proud to represent this community for the last almost three years, I know that when we put our minds towards something that's so important to us collectively, when we demonstrate that we have a clear goal, when we know, even if the task is large, and the task here is large, when we work together in a unified sense and we bring that energy and passion and that enormous capacity for philanthropy that we have in this community to a project that's as important to the people of this community as this one is, I know that we will, we have, and that we will accomplish great things. So with that, uh, I'm going to ask uh, my friend and my colleague, uh, someone who serves as Ontario's Minister of Health and Long-Term Care and also serves as the member of provincial parliament for the riding of St. Paul's in Midtown Toronto, someone who's got an extraordinary resume uh, that uh, when you take a look at it, you understand that he doesn't just understand the importance of health care here in our world, in our province, but he understands what it means to have proper health care uh, in communities, in many cases, communities at risk right around the world. He is someone who brings an extraordinary level of passion and expertise to his role as the Minister of Transportation. He is, of course, a medical doctor himself, so he understands it inside and out. And I am privileged to serve with him in the legislature uh, and in the cabinet room and in our government caucus room. And I'm delighted he's here today in Vaughan. And I'm going to ask my friend and colleague, Eric Hoskins, to come to the podium and share some good news. Thanks very much. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Stephen, for that, uh, for your kind introduction as well. It, uh, you know, I think 
most, most of the staff that work at the Ministry of Health actually erroneously believe that Stephen is also working for the Ministry of Health. He's spent so much time there over the, the last number of months. I think perhaps with this announcement, well, actually, I was going to say perhaps they'll be glad to see less of you, but they're probably going to see just as much of you until we reach the, the, next, the next important phase. And Reza, it's, uh, where's Reza? It's uh, Reza Moridi. It's great to be uh, here with you as well today, a, a, a great friend and cabinet colleague, but I know an individual who has done so much to uh, promote health care uh, in your riding, but also a strong supporter of uh, this hospital here in Vaughan, uh, which will serve uh, so many individuals uh, in your riding as well as Steven, Stevens and, and beyond. And, uh, and I think as well, Greg Cerbera, who uh, a mentor of mine since uh, the very first days, as you know, Greg, but I know I wasn't aware that this goes back as far as more than a decade, but a labor of love and uh, everyone here understands and knows and appreciates the hard work that you've put in over many, many years, first as MPP, and I know that role has actually even increased uh, more deeply uh, the responsibilities that, uh, that you're undertaking on behalf of the hospital and the, the community here in Vaughan and in the region, the, the south, southwest York region. Uh, Mayor, it's, uh, it's, uh, it goes without saying. In fact, I, should, I find myself repeating a lot of what Stephen said in terms of acknowledge. Fortunately, you acknowledged, I think, about half of the people here, so it makes my job a little bit easier. But uh, the mayor, uh, uh, as you know, Maurizio has been uh, a strong, uh, a strong voice uh, in support of this uh, this hospital uh, and such a great uh, advocate for this community. Uh, it, it, those individuals and many, many more uh, that have been involved, and I should acknowledge as well, Deb Matthews, that has uh, uh, during her tenure as Minister of Health uh, did so much. Uh, to make uh, today's announcement a reality, uh, and um, and also, you know, I think Greg, when we were coming in here, mentioned sort of the real work is about to begin, which is probably true, and that's not to minimize or downsize the incredible amount of labor and work and passion and commitment that has gone into making this a reality to date. I'm a little concerned that if last year's announcement was across the road on site, and this, this is actually a little bit further away, I think we need to make sure that any subsequent announcements are, uh, are closer on the other side of the road. With shovels. With shovels, <laughs> shovels in the ground, I'll do my best. <laughs> You aren't going away. I know that. <laughs> but, you know, Stephen might describe his activities on this file as relentless, uh, but uh, I have really been impressed with the vigor uh, with which he has uh, taken up this cause on behalf of the citizens of Vaughan and the region. And, uh, and you know, I mean, I... Uh, I think the first announcement that I made was for a new hospital in a tiny little community west of, west of Barrie, a tiny little community called Markham. Sorry, not Markham, Markdale. Uh, Markham's, Markham, Markham's a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know they were getting a new hospital in Markham <laughs> until now. But this tiny little community, I think it's going to have four beds in it, right? If you can imagine, and I think this hospital is going to have upwards more than 350 beds. In fact, I know it's also being shelled for more uh, beyond that. Uh, but um, that first announcement that I made in that tiny little community, uh, it impressed me. And I, it probably shouldn't come as a surprise to me. I'm a healthcare professional myself. I'm a family doctor and a public health specialist. But it helped me realize, and I think also, you know, growing up myself in a small town in the community of Simcoe on the shores of Lake Erie, uh, born into a small town hospital as well. But it, those, that upbringing, but that announcement in Markdale and the one I made Friday as well in Milton, uh, an expansion of their hospital there, uh, there are a few things that are as well received as hospital announcements, but I think that speak to the core of who we are and the priorities that we have and just how important health care and providing health care to all of the citizens in a community, how important that is to us. And there are probably few things that bring us together as effectively as communities as health care does. And certainly the announcement of 
with, with that, I think it's probably the worst kept secret, <laughs> quite frankly, Stephen. You didn't want to scoop me, but I think probably people know where I'm going with this. But I want to, um, you know, lastly, before I get into the details of the announcement, it's, uh, it's not only uh, my pleasure and wonderful to be here in Vaughan, but it's also important, and I'm glad to have the opportunity to also thank and co congratulate the, the dedicated staff and administration of Mackenzie Health for the, uh, not just for the role you've played uh, so far uh, for this uh, important undertaking, but also for the awards, and many of you might not know this, the awards that Mackenzie Health has garnered for your commitment to the safety and, and quality of patient care. And I, I felt it was important, I want to acknowledge and recognize this this morning, just so I have no doubt that you know how strong and valued a partner you have in Mackenzie Health for this undertaking, but there's no more telling testament or testimony to the commitment that Mackenzie Health has to quality of care than the accreditation that they recently received, which was the exemplary standing. That's the title of the accreditation, which in fact is the absolute highest rating that a Canadian healthcare provider can achieve. And it's testament to the hard work, and I know with, with Altaf and his staff, uh, just how hard they work to make sure that the quality of patient care is the highest it can be, and that they have a patient-centered, patient's-first approach to the delivery of their health care services. So this accomplishment by McKenzie Health is something that uh, all of us uh, should truly be uh, proud of. Uh, so thank you, and thank you on behalf of your patients and on behalf of our government. And, and as probably Altaf knows more than anyone else uh, and is constantly reminded of, Mackenzie Health currently serves a population of more than one half of a million people right across the Southwest York region and beyond. And so this is, of course, an exciting community. It's a fast growing community as well, not only in the province, but in all of Canada. But it's been 50 years since a new hospital has been built in this region, if you can believe it, 50 years. And I know that the community has been needing and asking for a new hospital for a long while. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Today, I'm proud to announce that Ontario is moving forward to improve access to hospital services for patients in Vaughan and the surrounding area with the release of a request for proposals to the three teams shortlisted to design, build, finance, and maintain the new Mackenzie Vaughan Hospital project. And as all of you know, this is another major step in the journey toward this major capital project. And once it's completed, the new Mackenzie Vaughan Hospital will have a state-of-the-art emergency department, modern, the most modern surgical services and operating rooms, advanced diagnostic imaging, specialized ambu ambulatory clinics and intensive care beds, integrated smart digital technology systems, and approximately 90% single acute care patient rooms for infection prevention and control. And this is a relatively new development where such a high proportion of the acute beds in hospitals and new hospital builds are of the single bed variety because we know that through research and evidence that patients heal faster when they're more comfortable and have more privacy. So in addition to the benefit from in infection control and prevention, there's a real benefit to that formulation, that configuration of beds. So approximately 90% will be of the single acute care patient room variety. 
And the hospital will provide all of the obvious essential services, emergency, critical care, surgery, obstetrics, pediatrics, mental health services, and the York Region District Stroke Centre will be housed here. This is an exciting time for the residents of this area and I'm absolutely delighted that our government has helped to make it possible. And this is a great example of how we are building Ontario up with a clear, predictable and long-term commitment, some would say 50 years is definitely a long-term commitment, to infrastructure in communities of all sizes by building roads and bridges and transit, hospitals and schools. So, ladies and gentlemen, my sincere thanks go to Mackenzie Health, the City of Vaughan, the Central Lynn, the Infrastructure Ontario for their hard work and commitment to this project. But most of all, to those of you in this group and many, many more beyond that have worked so hard and so diligently with such passion and commitment to make today's announcement a reality. I know, Greg, there is a lot of work. It will intensify the work going ahead. Stephen, I hope we can uh, make that birthday announcement next year with shovels in the ground, uh, but we're well on our way to meeting uh, that goal of construction beginning uh, in the very near future. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to coming back to this great community and celebrating many more milestones with you as this new hospital moves closer to reality. Thank you very much. Thank you.